prepare to attack the enemy's control points. Get behind me, Doctor! I am fully charged! <laughs> you are listening to Control Point, a Team Fortress 2 podcast, with Brent Copeland, Eric Fullerton, Wes Wilson, and Spencer Williams. Control Point, episode 46, recorded on September 7th, 2008. I'm Brent Copeland. I'm Wes Wilson. I'm Eric Fullerton. And I'm Fluffy McPufflestuff. (laughs) (laughs) Also known as... I'm Spencer Williams. I'm Spencer Williams. Hi, hi, Fluffy. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well, well, we're back after uh, skipping last week. Uh, it was a busy week. Of, uh, um, yes, we're some back. Of us went to Dragon Con. CP's um, back. It was a holiday. What was the holiday? I, I Labor Day. Yeah, Labor Day. Or uh, the other one. And we know. refused to labor on Labor Day. Yeah, we, we always. Let's just, find... let's just be honest. Let's just <laughs> be honest about this. We just didn't feel like it last week. I mean. We really don't ever feel like it. We hate doing this. Oh my god! <laughs> and we we almost had a perfect record too, doing this every week for almost a year. But uh, um, but y'all are a bunch of slackers. Yeah. What are you talking about? Eric and I were sitting right here, ready to go. Hey, he's right. They were. They were. I had a very good reason. But we're all together now. Yes. Yeah, so let's do it. Like a happy, <laughs> happy fan. So you got something in the briefcase? I do. <laughs> 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 Except it's not really a briefcase this time. It's more like a backpack. Oh, okay. Oh, I can dig that. That's not a backpack. I... It's like a lockbox. This, sort. this is a backpack. Okay. So I'm that looks it, like one. I'm, I'm opening it up. Nice sound. Wow, effects. that is nice sound effect. Yeah. Oh, and look, 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 look. There's a bunch of games in here. Sweet. There's a bunch of games in here besides TF2. Is there a game in there called Spore? There is. There is. There's a game in here called Spore. I believe there is some TF2 in there. Uh, well. Actually, you're right. You're right. I didn't see it. It was in there buried under uh, Warhammer, Age of Reckoning. Oh, there's a TF2. I'd like to install that game called TF2. And you know, there's actually, I, I think, I see Conan peeking out for some reason. No. It looks like it, it, it's no. uh, uh, on something there. No. Now, actually, actually, when we were at Dragon Con last weekend, Conan was heavy on the presence. Yeah. They were giving away uh, inflatable swords and yeah, yeah. and 10-day demos. Yeah. Lame they had a huge booth and everything. Yeah. It was yeah. pretty embarrassing. I mean, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't get anything for a wall from the Conan booth? Um, no. no. That would have been a good idea. We should have done I took it. some pictures. Oh, awesome. Can we put those on the wall? No, thanks. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> so And then, you know what's, complete, <laughs> what's completely filling this backpack up is listener contributions and surveillance. I mean, it's just piled up in here. Again? like Like some useless awful that we must deal with. Useless I actually think we're going to have to do a, a spin-off podcast just for the listener contributions cuz I mean this this crap's getting ridiculous <laughs> in a good way. Yeah, so you guys quit contacting us. <laughs> we're tired of the stuff that you give us. We don't want your content. If, if you would take that content and go to uh iTunes and leave us reviews there with it in there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well I'm sealing this backpack back up. Or maybe you should go leave it for gamers with jobs. I hear they're hurting for stuff. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, so that was just mean. It wasn't mean. They were asking for reviews, and I'm saying let's go give them some reviews. Yeah, everybody should give good reviews to Games Which I think They've so. Got a great website. So and let's kick podcast. off this episode with uh, my week. How was your week? Yeah, Eric? yeah, yeah, yeah. you like that? Uh, for two weeks, I guess a little status. Um, not much happened <laughs> throughout the two weeks. <laughs> no, uh, actually, a lot happened. Um, so. Uh, Let's see, what did I do first here? Um, oh, yeah, I made it a little cheesy video um, called uh, How to Edit a Podcast. And it is basically, I've gotten a lot of people just ask me, how do you, ed- how do you edit a, a CP podcast? What software do you use? What do you do? So I went ahead and made a video um, and uh, put it on YouTube. So uh, it's like a three-minute video or something like that. Anyway, uh, we'll link to that. And uh, let's see what else happened. Uh Oh yeah, I just um, wanted to mention the um, the longest thread um, currently on our forums is uh, by uh, Hellas Poe. Uh, it's Spy Meat. You know how the game's played? Yes. Oh, okay. It's like uh, someone says Wes meet Brent, and then the next person says Brent meet Spencer, and then 
Spencer meet Hitler, and then Hitler meet. There's um, only there's Rainbow only nine. Bright, there's only nine classes. You know, Hitler. <laughs> you know, I, I I only met him the one time, and he was very charming. Oh yeah, I, I have <laughs> very to say. Charming. So he's like, a, he's got a nice smile. So anyway, somehow I got. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Nailhead meet, um, you know, uh, podcast mentioned next week. And then it was podcast mentioned next week meet so-and-so. So I thought, oh, I guess I'll go ahead and just actually m- mention it on the show. So there you go. Uh, it's like got 60 pages or more. It's a huge thread. It's it's such nonsense, too. Anyway, um, <laughs> we had a, uh, a nice full weekend at Dragon Con in Atlanta, the sci-fi fantasy convention that we attend every year, and they had a TF2 meetup um, at a specific time. Uh, everybody, you know, dressing up TF2 style meets, and they just um, fight and pose and things like that. So there was and a furry. ton. Like how many? How many people? Wait, now, what, which one did you go to? I went to the two o'clock at the um, Hilton Marriott. No, where was it? I don't know, but I went up, you know, I went up to the 10th floor like I was supposed to, mm-hmm. and there was one group up there looking for everyone else. Okay. We went to the one down in the lobby, real, uh, let's see, it was oh. the Marriott. Um, you didn't call me and let me know that was going on. I did. Did you, ex- oh. No. Um, me and, uh, <laughs> oh. No, no it was, was I, it was very confusing. Um, I was with, uh, I was with Clyde Frog. He met us there. He lives really close to Atlanta. And um, so me and him were checking it out, taking tons of pictures. Man, there was just so many. There was a lot of female scouts. There was female NGs. Uh, there was, um, the female sniper was cute. Yeah, female sniper. <laughs> uh, uh, you can see a lot of pictures. I'll post um, pictures that I took uh, with my camera and then uh, pictures that um, Clyde Frog took with his um, all in one area. So you can just kind of see them all. And, um, man, like they would pose. You would see like the red versus the blue and there'd be like i don't know 15 to 20 on each side it was huge yeah heavies had sandwiches and that would have been really cool to see eric (laughs) it was excellent uh so that was that they get in the parade was there a whole tf2 section in the parade now i did Uh, see one scout hopping around in the parade that's funny i bet he jumped the fence (laughs) was he He really hopping was he like jumping around yeah he was jumping around and and like did he ever double jump I, I was on the 10th floor looking down with a hangover, so I didn't notice. I was 19th floor, probably. Oh. So you were the sniper. I was. <laughs> but uh, but I got to say, um, Headshot. there were actually no demo man. There were everybody else, um, you know, every other class, but uh, but not the demo man. The pyro looks so mm. cool, too. There was no demo man all weekend long? N- not that, that you I saw, saw. Yeah. Not, yeah, not that I saw. I saw. I saw a few heavies. I saw some scouts. I saw tons of spies. I, you know, I, I, I've kind of assumed you'd see a lot more heavies than other classes. Really? Because <laughs> it's Dragon Con. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we saw we saw a heavy that had instead uh, of uh, bullets ammo like draped across his his chest. He had beers. Yeah, <laughs> that was really cool. Yeah, he had beer in his bandolier. Um, beer, bandolier. Yeah. The, uh, there were some good. There were some really good pyros that I saw. Oh yeah. Um. There was oh we had a pyro and a uh, Tuscan Raider both doing their taunt. I saw that pick and that I like awesome. it like it very much. Um, so uh, anyway, that was great. Uh, the whole rest of the weekend was awesome. I could talk about it for days and I won't. So thank God. Um, so that was the TF2 portion of Dragon Con. Uh, if you want to know more, just go next year and we'll be there and we'll hang out with you. Uh, also, um, let's see Friday night. Played a little bit of the old CP after dark. With yes, he tried to he tried to call me into it, and I refused to submit. I know. Some people were playing other games. I was. Were you? But was uh, that, was that the night you tried to get me to play too? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that where we were on the, both on the same team? Yeah. Well, I think I was on the other team sometimes too. I kept getting switched, but oh, okay. that was fun. We we what did we play? We played some arena, Switches, Switchy Jones, which was okay. Like I really don't prefer the arena, really. I, I like I like the arena every once in a while. I wish it was more like you played like only like two or three rounds, and then it moved on to the next map, That's, and then maybe like two or three rounds in the next map. Like if it was, or maybe even just like one between every map, you had one round of arena. Yeah, it'd okay. be kind of like a fast little get things going. Yeah. Maybe if you, okay, maybe if there was like a, I mean, there may what, be a what's, setting. What's but, the time limit on it? I mean, I suppose you could put them on fifteen minutes. You time win limit. five when one team. Well, what is it? One team wins five straight, and then it flips the teams. So then it's probably thirty minutes, hmm. just kind of like the normal map. 
But I mean, maybe maybe 10, 15 minutes of arena time. I'm I'm the yeah. same way. I love it. I think it's a lot of fun. But if it goes too long, people start getting annoyed. Yeah, and that's what happened Friday night. I mean, I was ready to switch to something else. Um, you were ready fast, yeah. <laughs> and then you were asking, and they were asking. And I was like, well, let's finish this round, and then we'll do yeah. it. And there's a lot of new maps on the, the cycle on the server, which, uh, well, we can get into that later. But, uh, During our yeah. map discussion yeah. section? <laughs> um, all right. Well, uh, I got a, a copy of Spore along with everyone else here. <laughs> everyone <laughs> played it, and it's been a lot of fun. And uh, let's see. September, there's going to be a ton of new games coming out. Man, this fall is the end of my marriage. This fall. I'm just telling yeah. you. The end and of Wes's marriage. Everyone will have to call in sick this month. You're, you're I, just you, trying to make us miss Don LaFontaine, aren't you? No, no, no. Uh, that is sorry. Yeah, it's sad. But, was really um, <laughs> I actually did take two days off for uh, uh, the three-day pregame for uh, Warhammer. Nice. You took off Sweet. work? Took off, too. Not the first day, because, you know, I yeah. expect issues. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I took off the next two days. That's pretty cool. Nice. But That's it's sad enough, one day was to get DirecTV put in to our house. Yeah. So I'll be ready to get BlizzCon. Super. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Set up. So if anybody needs to see that, we can make a weekend of it and everybody come over. Maybe there's oh, a yeah. podcast or something. Oh, yeah. I would, I would dig that. Act like yeah. we're actually I wish there. I could come over and you see can. that. You can. You can. You can. It's a short drive. I don't think I can. Not if not if uh, Warhammer comes out the same weekend. Sorry, that's mm. no, that's not till what October. Oh, is it not? Oh. BlizzCon, yeah, it's not for a BlizzCon's the f- second weekend of October. Yeah, yeah, it's for a while. Mm. But anyway, so go on your week. Um, <laughs> oh, that is about it. Or that's all that I have written down. I'll probably think of more later. But uh, that's cool. Now. Just butt in like I do. <laughs> yeah, I'll like an that. A uh, <laughs> bad person. Yeah, Spencer, you you didn't play any th- any good games, did you? Um, are you asking me to do my week? Well, I was trying to do a segue, but you ruined it. I'm just making sure because I don't want you to like, um, like cry. try and do a smooth segue and then ask me later. So, Spencer, how was your week? I'll be like, I already did it, and, and then the podcast will be ruined. Thanks, Wes. Yeah. Anyway, thanks, Wes. so my instead week you preemptively was, um, ruined it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> my week, uh, my two weeks were kind of interesting. Uh, let's see. Week before last, I did play some TF2. Um, not any really memorable moments, although I did have fun. Uh, so I at least played. And then um, last weekend, my parents were in town, so I didn't play much of anything. And then over the past week, let's see, I played some Mercenaries 2, and I played some Spore, and I played some Abe's Odyssey. Abe's Odyssey, um, you go. Abe's Odyssey. And I played um, some XCOM. Ooh. I was just about to ask, did you get the X pack? Of course I did. Why wouldn't I? Jeez. <laughs> oh, um, 14 bucks, why not? Eric's butt in number yeah. one. Um, I got uh, Peggle, <laughs> Peggle Deluxe this week. Okay, continue. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I played a lot of all of those. I used to like um, you, Eric. <laughs> and... I played a little bit of Warhammer, and then we had a Tropical Storm, which was a lot of people freaking out about absolutely nothing. I mean, oh my god. <laughs> oh no, it's going to rain. That's what they should have said, <laughs> because that's what it was. In fact, it was really funny, because I was, you know, it's my first year here, my first uh, hurricane season on the coast and and we are like right on the coast you know we're two blocks from the ocean so it's kind of it it is sort of an immediate concern especially when we haven't been through it before so i'm paying attention to the weather and you know just making sure that we're we're all set and I, i called my landlord who lives like four houses down from me just to make sure i was doing everything i needed to do and he said yeah you don't really need to worry about this and i was like okay and i wasn't worried about it because it was just a a tropical storm not a hurricane um but you you still kind of have it in the back of your mind you know what if something happens what if it's bad so i (laughs) i just tried to ignore it and it was really funny because uh the weather channel website which is where i was keeping track of everything was all like uh tropical storm hannah approaching the coast this is what could happen and then it shows video of like people flying sideways through the air you know buildings exploding oh my god it could be terrible and then as soon as the thing like hits 
their uh, all of their uh, headlines change from doom, doom, doom to tropical storm Hannah ruins the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Wet mm-hmm. beach time for visitors to Myrtle Beach. I mean, seriously, that's what it. Uh. <laughs> so yeah, it's I I, I I I that's all I had to say about that. Mm, that was action packed. I thought jellyfish were going to use it as an excuse to uh, attack your home or something. Oh yeah, yeah it's like f- raining jellyfish. Yep. Mm. Hallelujah. Oh God, <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Yeah. I want is it is that something that people tell people when they're going to the beach? Watch out for jellyfish. Is um, that really something that people tell each other? Because I, I had some random woman tell me to watch out for jellyfish the other day. Control really? point listener. I've yeah. always been really just as a kid, just really paranoid about it. Like I've always been paranoid about jellyfish at the beach. So I've I always say that to people. I'm like, watch out for things that sting you that you that are pretty much invisible and undetectable and they may kill you so you know apart from, the, <laughs> apart from the stinging yeah i was know. more paranoid about probably crabs and sharks and crabs <laughs> well and, that's, uh, yeah things like that mm. uh i was I paranoid like about jellyfish. cougars mm. See I'm, i was terrified of beach cougars <laughs> <laughs> beach cougars nice <laughs> mm, on, like on, on that dinner. note Spencer, did they have sand like fleas on them Hey, hey, Wes, d- did you play any games this week? And by that, I am segueing into your week. So if you would, please um, tell us about your week in the Your Week segment. I, I see what you Wait, did are, there. Are That's you being sad. sarcastic or are you being honest? Because I'm really having a hard time understanding what you're trying to do here. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> he sounded so- Hallelujah. <clears throat> Ooh, yeah. Okay, well, last week I uh, went to Dragon Con. Me and Eric uh, rode up there together, and then uh, we parted ways because I had to promote Play on Con. Oh, but we had a, an adventure on the we way did, there. We did. We had decided that we were going to try and podcast while we were there, which, in hindsight, seems totally ludicrous. But on the way there, it seemed like a great idea. So we decided, uh, and Eric had stopped by the Best Buy here in town to find one of these Acer eight and a half inch aspire one is the model name the, yeah the Aspi- it's a tiny baby laptop yeah and we thought we could take these little tiny baby laptop and then have a have a webcam attached to it and then you know get little microphones and we'd walk around the con and interview people and just be silly and you know sit at a table and rate people's costumes and you know do the kind of stuff that we do every year at that con mm-hmm. and uh so there wasn't one here in huntsville so then on our way there we drove through chattanooga we uh checked at the um Best Buy in Chattanooga, and they didn't have one there, so we stopped at the Best Buy in Kennesaw, and they didn't have one there, so we stopped at the Best Buy in Smyrna. Oh, in Chattanooga first. I, I, said, <laughs> that. I, uh, I was thinking of other stuff. Anyway, so uh, we, we and we oh, actually wait, d- the one. You, you stopped at the one in the Smyrna, didn't you? Um, no, no. I lied what about, about that the one, one in Chattanooga? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, we actually have decided that our next podcast is going to be the Best Buy cast because we feel professionally capable of judging who has the best and the worst podcast. I mean, the podcast. <laughs> best <laughs> Buy. Uh, best Buys. Yeah, yeah. 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 But we do have a lot of uh, recording, audio recording of that adventure. It might end up little... on the end of this episode. Yeah, we'll put it somewhere. You'll be um, amazed. Yes. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that was uh, that was our exciting journey to Dragon Con, and then I got there, and the first night I ended up getting really, really tanked, and so that uh, pretty much ended a lot of my, you know, hey, I'm happy, jolly, go lucky, West guy. Next day I had a hangover, and then I went to bed early the next night, and then the next day I had a bunch of work to do, and so yeah, so we did, we actually didn't see each other except for that first night, but we had a good time. We stayed out to about four in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Got to and, hang uh, out with Clyde Frog and stuff. Yep. No, that that was Friday night. Or, Saturday night. Saturday night. Yeah. It, we yeah. we so. got there on Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't we? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway. All right. <clears throat> so uh, I've I've been doing a little bit of uh, console stuff, and I went shopping on eBay, and I got uh, Resident Evil. Oh, pardon me. No, I got this at uh, GameSpot. I got Resident Evil Four the Wii edition for cheap. Oh. And so I kind of Classic. poked around with that a little bit because uh, I never finished it. Never finished that game. Uh, I, I bought... kind of like that. I, I haven't... Um, I, I've always sort of wanted to pick that up and, and have not. It's... Uh, I, I'm not sure I like the controls yet. 
I've heard really good things about the controls. Uh, I still need to poke around with it a little bit, but there's some parts that, you know, I originally played it on the GameCube, and I felt better on the GameCube than I do here on the Wii. I'm a little more confused. What about Beyond Good and Evil? Didn't you buy that? I did. I haven't installed it yet. Oh. But I got it. Um, I bought Destroy All Humans for the Xbox. Awesome game. Which uh, I had always wanted to play and never gotten around to. I've been having fun with that. Uh, I played a lot of Warhammer. Um, I'm really excited about this. I'm really mad that the servers have been closed for like a week and a half. I really wanted to play that some more. And then I played some TF2. And it was fun. Nice. <clears throat> so uh, I we, I logged on, and it was really funny because... Um, uh, and I'm... I, Last night is the closest one on my mind, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and poke around with that one. But mm-hmm. last night, I uh, I logged on, and um, Server 1 was full, and Stan's Lounge was full. And so I went and uh, poked around on another server, and I set myself to auto-log in to Stan's Lounge um, so that I you know, could get into a game. And Clyde was playing on there. And I let him know, I was, you know, I, and, and then I let him know, I'm like, hey, you know, I'm going to come over there. I, you know, I'm trying to get on stands, but it's all full. Well, he like, um, oh, no, wait, I got my story mixed up. Ooh. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> okay. So I got another. Well, Clyde comes to join me, not realizing that I was set to auto join stands. So basically uh, he logged off of stands and then I got his place. <laughs> uh, nice. And so then he's like, okay, well, I'll try it. So anyway, so we ended up playing a little bit on stands last night. They were having a new map night, <clears throat> and they played um, uh, TC Meridian, and I haven't played that very much, and that's a nice little map. I remember that. Um, it, it's got some new you know, looking environments. It's well done, and we had a lot of fun with that. And then we tried PL Hoodoo. Have you played that, Spencer? I have not, no. PL Hoodoo, is, uh, it's a payload map, and it's... I mean, it's pretty much by the book, and it's great. And there are some parts that are just really, really challenging. And we were having, and, and I mean, I, I always love it, you know, when Clyde's playing a pyro because, you know, I'll just look at him, I'll go, I'll be playing a medic, I'll be like, you ready? And he'll go, yes. <laughs> and we'll Uber and just try to get as far behind their lines as we can and, you know, mess them up totally and put them into disarray so that everybody else gets mm-hmm. a bonus from it. Um, oh, Eric, break in number two. Okay. Uh, on Friday, I <laughs> unlocked my extinguisher with Milestone 3 for the pyro. Continue. Excellent. Congratulations. Hey. Yeah. I thought uh, P.L. Hoodoo, I thought someone in our community made that. Um, uh, I don't remember the name of the guy who did it. Um, I feel really bad. I'll find it. Okay. You keep talking. Okay. It's like Yumi. You, is, that the, is that the name? Yumi? Yumi? That sounds like one of them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, additionally, um, the other night I wanted to play and server one was full and stands was full. So I went looking around for other servers to play on. And, um, I went to the portal of evil. (laughs) Have you ever been to the portal of evil? Portal of evil? Yeah. No. Well, anyway, French toast is from there and that's the guy that does the, uh, Don, uh, LaFontaine voice. You know, the guy who does the movie? Yeah. And and he'll be, you know, in a world. <laughs> when I talked about it a few weeks ago. Anyway, so uh, we, oh, played, right, yeah. we played some with, with French Toast. And, of course, he had to play Spy. And uh, All Talk was on. And uh, every time he killed me, he had to just laugh out loud. <laughs> Which, you know, on the whole... You know, big whoop. But after a little while, it's like, really? Yeah. Really? Again? What kind of laugh you, was it? It, it? I mean, nothing special. Just him going, <laughs> uh. you know, just, uh, just you know, basically rubbing salt in the wounds. And, you know, after about 10 or 15, you know, spy kills with him cackling afterwards, I'm like, really? You still think that's funny? Awesome. So yeah. it's more of a H-E-H-E than a H-A-H-A? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. It was more of a, yes, it, it was it was grittier no. and, and meaner. But it was a lol. Yes. Because it was, you could yes. hear it, it was audible. Yes, okay. but I think it might have been forced. I think it was more of a, more of a, a, a posturing sort of laugh. You <laughs> yeah. know, like, look what I did. <laughs> uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. Anyway, um, I haven't heard that laughed in a while. Yeah. What was the last time I dropped my drawers in front of you? Something like that? <laughs> um, <laughs> That's it. No more. Brent's awesome. Turn. Brentle. 
Is that the segue I get? Friends yeah. turn. Friends <laughs> turn. What the hell is dun, dun, that? Come on. Dun, 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 so, uh, uh, Brent, uh, did you play any good games this week? Yeah, well, I played a little bit. I, I played a crap load of TF2. Nice. Yeah. Why is Brent talking to himself? I don't know. It's weird. Y- y'all are used to it. Come on, please. <laughs> please. Come on. So, I uh, finally got back up to Eagle Scream on uh, TF2. Ooh, wow. In, uh, like 66 hours the past two weeks. Is that because of TF2 or another Steam game? What? TF2. TF2. Dang. All TF2. 66 hours? <laughs> Hours in two weeks? Yeah, yeah, in the past two weeks. I've been playing a lot. I, wow. I, I, I just got a new win for it, and I've been playing a lot of different stuff. I mean, I still get Soldier in there, but uh, I've been sniping a bit, playing Pyro a lot, and working on Spy, because I suck at Spy and I suck at oh, Sniper. Oh, yeah, finally getting the Spy on. So I've, I've been working on that, and you know, one of the hardest things to remember with Spy is when you bump into someone, you glow a little bit. And so don't just keep bumping into them. You know, <laughs> do whatever you can not to touch anyone else, yes. you know, instead of like, oh, maybe they'll just run past me. No, they're going to see you and kill you. Yeah. Uh, and, and then once they do see you and kill you, don't just stand there and let them do it. Mm-hmm. You know, either run off or try to shoot back. You know, one of those. So those are the like the first things I need to get in my mind. You got blood on my suit. Well, usually so. when I'm going to die, I just let it happen. I just quit. I'm a oh, quitter. Yes. And that, that, that I just unplugged the You're bringing the table. segue. I love I you. Did I you love like you. That? I like did you it. like that? Speaking of quitters, <laughs> the past couple of nights, I've, I've had people on the servers in my games where we were losing, and it was coming down real close, and they'd just be like, oh, man, we've lost this one. Or, oh, it's over. You know, that's it kills me because they're quitters. It kills me on the inside. And I'm like, don't give up. Not until we're dead. And it says you have lost. That's it. And then, you know, blame it on everyone else. Yeah. You. Then say you were lagging. Say, say, you know, but never admit that you lost. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> It's just not something you do on the internet. Uh, so, but I got some. I played sniper one night, and I actually got some uh, compliments. Uh, from yeah, shooting you actually people got, in the head. Yeah, you actually got a couple in the uh, in the chat room here. Yeah. Uh, so it was by, uh, by it was compliments. Do you mean that bleep bleep sniper? Is that what you mean? Yeah. <laughs> no, someone actually said in there, hey, you never play Sniper and you're killing me. What's going on here? And I didn't tell them I had a little Sniper bot going. But the compliments are good anyway, right? <laughs> so, and I didn't really. But anyway, uh, that, that was a lot of fun. And um, there was one there was one really good game on Sunday before last. My notes are all mixed up because I have like three weeks of crap all jumbled together. But we had like a steamroll literally on Bad Water where the cart just did not stop from the beginning to the end. And it was just this tactic of sending this large team ahead and just keeping everything dead in front of you while you know you have a scout or something pushing the cart along behind you. And that was uh, really awesome. Um, oh, so you kept the game off of the cart the whole time? Kept the what? You kept the game off of the cart the whole time? Yeah. And that's kind of, you know... Really- the way to do it. Mm-hmm. I want to do a cool. Wes interrupt on that one. Um, I uh, we were playing uh, TC Meridian, which is still you know kind of beta y, mm-hmm. and uh, half the fun is trying to figure out where your intelligence is, and then trying to figure out you know where everybody else's intelligence is. Mm-hmm. So you know I'm over on uh, Stan's lounge, and we're 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 goofing off and we're laughing, and. Uh, I go down as the demo, and because I know we're going to have trouble finding their stuff, I decide to go ahead and sticky the whole uh, intel room and make sure that nobody could take the intelligence, you know? So I sticky it up, and I go, and I hide in a little corner. I look over, and all of a sudden, I see a pyro run down the stairs. <clears throat> and uh, I'm a little confused, and I figure I'm going to wait for him to get the intelligence, and then I'm going to blow it. So so then he comes down and he's just about to get to the intelligence and all of a sudden it goes, you failed. Mm. You know, or the enemy captured your intelligence, mm-hmm. you know, and I, we were all going, what? And somebody else went, what? And all of a sudden it goes, you failed. And they got a point. You failed. And they got a point. You failed. They got a point. <laughs> you failed. And I swear the little ticker up at the top that has the, you know, like four to three, you know, it's, it, it went from four to like 15, just sitting there going, <laughs> you failed. <laughs> you failed. <laughs> and so then God. they went ahead and changed it the next map. And so it, and when we got back on, I, I went, evidently, I, I failed. <laughs> wow. That's a lot yeah, of failure. Did, did anyone on your team kill themselves? out of you know sheer <laughs> but it was really kind of that's like a kick in the balls definitely I know it was it was bad for my self esteem so what'd you do did you quit um no did I you just stayed I, I, I stayed oh yeah 
I figure if I was a failure, I might as well have fun being a failure. <laughs> yeah, might as well roll with it. So anyway, Brent, where were you before I West erupted? I was on playing TF2. Um, and uh, last night, I'll have to apologize to Tay. Uh, it was not purposeful. You just happened to be a medic, and uh, my back burner was happy to find you not looking at me. So I want to apologize for that. Uh, I also got a game on Steam. I got the Geometry Wars finally. I am probably the last person on uh, Earth. To, which one? Two? Joe, oh, just the first one. Why didn't you get I, two? I've never played it. I played it over here like one night. Why didn't you on get Xbox? two? I, it was really cheap. It was like three bucks or something. Oh, okay. So I, I like it. It's fun. Number two I'm, is only 15 well, I, I'll probably end up getting it. I've heard of a lot of a lot of good stuff. Uh, uh, I forget who, but someone on Gamers with Jobs was talking about it a lot, and it sounds like a lot of fun. So. Yeah, it's it's actually fun with two analog sticks. But how do you play on the PC? Uh, you move the well. You can do, do two different modes. One is kind of like you've got a little aim thing with your mouse, and so wherever you aim is wherever you shoot, and wow. then you just move like W A S D. Uh, okay. uh, otherwise, or maybe it was arrows. I forget the actual uh, movement, but okay, that works. <laughs> uh, and, and then the other one was just. Uh, it, I guess it was kind of the same thing, but just without the targeting there, and where you had your mouse is where it would kind oh, of okay. shoot or something. I don't remember. Hmm. But cool. uh, how much is it? Five bucks? It, yeah, it was dirt cheap. It was. Cool. Uh, and then uh, last night, I almost made an Arby's cast. <laughs> I was at Arby's, and I've, I just had a week of being irated a bunch of different stuff. Uh, Wes can tell you about it, but I won't let him because it's a lot. Um, r -r -r Rage, Brent. And I was in, uh, went to Arby's, and you know, ordered like you know, a sandwich and some like uh, what are they, the potato bite, whatever. And she's like, "Yeah, can you pull up?" and and we'll bring it out to you. And I, I'm like, "Look," and I'm like, "There's no one behind me. Can I just wait here until?" A you know, a car gets behind me. She's like, oh, no, that'll mess up my numbers. And I'm like, what, what does that mean, you know? So I, I went ahead and pull up. 20 minutes later, I get my food. But I figured out the numbers. It's like they have a thing that counts how long someone sits in the drive-thru. Oh, yeah. So from now on, I'm going to say no. You know, that's the count that it's supposed to be. You can get my food out here faster, and yeah. I'll get out of your way. You know, because that just, huh. oh, it annoys the crap out of me. But yeah, yeah. Really, did you did you look at her and go, you failed. <laughs> you <laughs> no, failed. I shot her in the head and I kicked in a dead corpse and drove off. Nice. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Grindhouse Arby's. <laughs> um, and we can edit that out, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's uh, let's move on then to uh, where are we at now? I, I believe. Is that the end of your week? It was. I just didn't say it. Okay, it's we, just you know, good timing. Do you want to talk about the gas station? How the gas station make you mad? Or 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 no. wait? Do you want to talk about? Do you want to talk about how the doctor made you mad? Or do, do you want to talk about? No. Do you want to talk about how I'm making you mad by talking about everything that made you mad? You're not making me mad. Sure. The doctor. Let's is, talk though. about oh, uh, on the loudspeaker because that's what's next here. <laughs> on the loudspeaker discussion. <laughs> <laughs> you love it on the loudspeaker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, this first thing here is. Oh my <laughs> god, this is so terrible! <laughs> it can't be any worse than Brent over here clacking his halls with Can you this hear that? Too. Yes, all over this podcast. Oh, sit, you're sick today, this week, or something. I'm, yeah, for two weeks now. Oh. So yeah, I'm bitter at that too. Yeah, it happens. I wish I could rage quit this sickness. <laughs> All right, so uh, this first thing here, um, it was a contest that we announced a little while back. And uh, Oh my um, God, stop. This, uh, this contest was, <laughs> guess when the heavies update will be? It went $20 from John Mass. And uh, he's done this before with the, was it, was it the pyro or was it the medic? It was, no, the, I think it was, it was the, pyro. the pyro update. Pyro. Um, so uh, someone did get the uh the cash prize it was uh frosty uh guess oh, when the day was and uh and and uh got his cash so congrats awesome. congrats maybe there'll be another contest with the spy because that's what i think might be next why do you, you think, think that's next why do you uh, think that um i don't know i just have this weird spidey sense Go to Spidey. 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 Spidey, you like that? You Spidey. See what, oh. you see what I accidentally did there? Spidey. Um, actually, Spy. I'm going with Demo Man. Spy Hunter D. Sorry. Next is... <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to do this next? What the here? hell? <laughs> I don't know, but I need more caffeine. Mm -hmm. Don't I? Don't I need more caffeine? <laughs> Brent needs more um, something to make him better. 
Um, okay, so next was a forum, forum post. <clears throat> and this is from Positive Josh. And, um, and I, I think this is um, kind of interesting. Um, basically, what it boils down to is, and, and the reason I brought this up is because we have so little Xbox content. Um, but he started playing um, TF2 on the Xbox and then bought the PC version because he listened to us and thought we were having so much fun and he wanted to come and join us. And he's not having as much fun on the PC as he did on the Xbox. And one of the things that he found, number one, evidently the Xbox community uh, tends to get really, really tight because you're playing with the same people over and over again. Well, um, for let, let, just to to uh, clarify that, the the Xbox community for TF2 is very tight because there are very relatively few people playing TF2 on the Xbox. There's 24 of them, so they play yeah. every game together. <laughs> Actually, I mean, he... he he said they he on the forum post he said there might be 200 people that play it regularly um and and clearly you're not going to have the same experience playing with a 200 person community as you would with say Halo which has a much larger and uh let's just say more rambunctious community rambunctious mm-hmm. um another thing he talked about was that there aren't that many uh medics in the game for the Xbox um there is usually an Uber at the beginning and the um, of an attack defend map, but if the Uber fails, the medic will usually change to something else. And medics are very, very rare on two fort uh, and on CP maps, which I found that to be really fascinating. Mm-hmm. Um, additionally, he he found that the 360 version has two different types of players as far as skill levels go there were those who were good and those who were noobs and would leave the game and go to cod4 um and he felt like a big fish in a small pond uh and now on the pc community there's so many good players it it, it's it's overwhelming him Mm -hmm. and the last thing is and i thought this was very interesting is on the 360 version the max player limit is 16 but most people don't have that kind of bandwidth, so he's gotten used to playing 5v5 and 6v6. That's weird. And coming to the uh, PC version, it's there's so many gauntlets of death, you know, where people are just raining down hellfire and brimstone on individual <laughs> hallways or something like that. Mm-hmm. And he comments that a lot of times he doesn't even know who's killed him until the free shot. Whereas when he played on the 360, he always knew he was usually in a duel with someone and knew who killed him. So really, really, this is going down to he's really a death matcher more than he is a TF2 player. And he probably likes deathmatch style of play more than a team oriented goal mission oriented game well I, I think so because he went on to say that uh um on the pc you know you might get ganged up on there might be two or three people killing you or coming at you but the way he's playing on xbox it's like you never see people grouped up you go onesie twosie kind of like but you know that's not really team play right if everybody's going on their solo missions well i don't really think that's as much i, I just think that usually like if you're running up and let's say 3v3 is running at each other you know on a on an xbox game you know people are kind of going to pair off you know what i'm saying you're you're going to pick whatever class you think you can take out the best and other classes are going to do the same uh well i he never said that. I mean, you're just assuming. I know. For all we know, people assuming just pop he's a on. deathmatch guy. Gah. I'm not assuming hmm. anything. I'm just saying for all we, he doesn't say this. For all we know, people might be playing uh, individually uh, like you would in say Unreal Tournament, and and he he doesn't specifically say that. So, I mean, if you I mean if you look at it, that's why medics aren't played a lot. Because they're not really a good, you know, deathmatching class. Yeah. You know, for the most part, unless you get really good at it. And so they go get their Ubers and they're like, well, I need to switch to something that can deathmatch. You know, they probably play all, you know, soldiers and pyros and demos. He also pointed out that classes tend to be a little weird because um, uh, scouts right now are the MPC. Because since there's fewer enemies that you're going up against, scouts can zip and dodge and get in and out. You know, the big problem with scouts is if there's 10 people there, that scouts meet. Uh, Additionally, the soldiers and the demos have never been patched. 
They're old school soldiers and demos. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, and also, the, I mean, we see that all the time on uh, servers when there's only 10 people on at night or something. There's a lot more scouts, especially on control point maps or payload maps, because having an extra person there basically with a scout is, I mean, you're really increasing the amount of people on your team. Hmm. Well, here, here's my thought on the whole thing. Um, and that that's that. For the most part, I mean his his community his community uh, complaint is going to be valid anytime you move from any community to any other community, and it, it, we can't we can't say in any way that the TF2 community is some one giant thing. There's a lot of small ones on the PC. Maybe there's not enough people to support more than one on the Xbox. But um, he he I think he needs to find people that he likes playing with. And and a lot of the complaints I, I kind of think are invalid just because, well, the skill level is one thing you, you just – that's something that everyone goes through on the PC. So you just need to get better with, with the tools that are on the PC in order to negate that. And the, the map size or the, the player size, there are servers out there that cater to that kind of play. Um, and you really do have have a choice on the PC that is entirely non-existent on the 360. And did, did we mention unlocks? Huh? Well, I mean, he yeah, gets unlocks I, I, on the PC, right? Yeah, you don't get yeah. them on the Xbox. And you get you get more maps. And I, I I have a hard time imagining that the 360 experience isn't is really superior, other than saying. Okay, these are the people that I've played with a lot and I'm comfortable playing with. Them. I, that yeah, I can totally and, and understand. Maybe, and maybe we read this a little bit differently. I never <laughs> thought I, I really didn't get the idea that he was saying that one was superior that that the three sixty experience was superior. He just No, said, no, no. He's saying he, just, he wasn't he, having as much fun. Right. And I'm thinking it was he's not for looking him better. Now, I, I think and, and, it comes and, down to play style, and I, I think it's a valid complaint on that end of it's his play style, and uh, he's he's fully well within his rights to like one over the other, and I just think that's mm-hmm. probably the difference he's he's going at. He needs to just you know go play Quake. He, uh, <laughs> ow, come on. One one thing he did say was that he um, you know learning to play with a mouse. You know everyone in the game is so incredibly deadly. Um, it, you know, when you're playing with a mouse and keyboard, your accuracy just grows, goes up exponentially. Um, that now when he goes back to the 360, he's like a sharpshooter. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> pew, 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 and kills people pretty well. But anyway, I, I, we've got an excellent post, uh, an excellent, um, post on our forums about this. I really recommend everybody go take a peek at it that's interested in the differences between the two. I wasn't bring, I, I never looked at it so much as a complaint, as a, you know, wow, I, I really thought I was going to have the same game and it's a different game. And and I'm kind of I haven't quite gotten the feel for it yet. Well, I think um, everybody well, needs he to did say I'm not having as much too. fun. Yeah. That certainly sounds complainy to me. Uh, so. <laughs> well, but his name is Positive Josh, so I think we should take a positive spin on yes. this. Everybody, <laughs> welcome Positive Josh to the community with a good crit in the well, face. Yes, I'm just <laughs> negative Spencer today. Mm. You're what? Negative Spencer. Oh. Mm-hmm. Angsty. Yeah, yeah, and that's but so that's much shadow. different than yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> you remember when um, we when we could approach new people and, and they'd be like hey you should listen to our podcast and and, and those would be the like days. and now you feel guilty asking people to listen to <laughs> no, your really, podcast. hey you, you should, should listen uh will you yeah. listen to our podcast uh, interesting side note when we were going around dragon con i i gave out uh um uh, CDs C- with our podcast on it. So no. They can, oh, no. No. Yeah. No. I gave out CP pins to everybody who was wearing a costume. That's and awesome. I, uh, one awesome. interesting is most people put it on whatever they were wearing, which I thought was kind of weird. If you're wearing a costume, why would you put a pin on your costume? Because anyway. it's an awesome pin. But anyway, uh, no one that I spoke to had ever heard of Control Point. Of course not. We're a secret that uh, our community likes to keep dear to its heart. Yeah. <laughs> Um, anyway, so uh, speaking of podcasts, there are a lot of other TF2 podcasts right now. Um, well, I mean, there's there's a new edition. Uh, it's called Critcast. It's Crit with the new K. editions. Got a p- TF2 podcast? New edition. Yeah, it's got to be awesome. They came back hardcore. Uh, so Crit's <laughs> the Crit's right cast. stuff. <laughs> oh no, no wait, that's, that's not new edition. I'm not going to say who it is because then I would awesome. prove that I knew. And I don't. So, uh, you know. You know. 
Crits new cast. kids, right? Uh, this is a new podcast that comes out of the UK. Uh, it's very clan driven, uh, but they talk uh, about you know um, big news like the heavy update and you know stuff like that stuff that uh, we talk about sometimes. <laughs> but it's a it's a good show. It's uh, uh, they are on episode two right now. They don't have a uh, website. Or they're not on iTunes yet, but uh, maybe by the time this airs, maybe they will be. So just look for Crits Cast if you want more TF2 podcasts in your life, that is. Uh, also, House Call is back with episode nine. Yes, they're Woo! back. So, back uh, again. That's always good fun with Nimbacaris and a Frit. Um, but it's, they, an, it's an old podcast, though. Yeah, it is. It's got to be old. Yeah. I listened to the whole thing, almost. Yeah, almost. And he, and I, and he, well, he just got around to editing it. Oh, okay. He got guilted into editing his podcast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, uh, there is um, there is always Fortcast, um, but although it's been it's been dormant since early July, um, it would be nice if they put a new episode out because I was actually enjoying yeah, the show. That, that, yeah. I like the show. So come back, Fortcast. Um, so anyway, so that's the roundup of TF2 Podcasts. And, At least um, when it comes back, you know it'll be quality. Yeah. Yes. And there'll be no Conan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By Grom. And, you know, the whole reason I wanted to put that in the briefcase today was because I just wanted to mention that it's now on Steam. What? Conan. Oh, that's right. Oh. But you cannot use your key if you already had it to put it onto Steam that I've seen. Wow. Oh. I really hate that. I, 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 I want all of my games to go through Steam. I have to get hacky with them to make my Steam overlay work. Yeah. Oh, well. No one plays that game anyway. So. Um, <laughs> I don't know. A lot of people were playing it after Dragon Con. Everybody picked up that free 10-day trial and were like, I can't wait to try this. What server are you on? I went, I canceled my account yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Old news. So uh, this last part <laughs> sounds like a good little discussion. Brent. Yes, yes. Uh, this is the discussion on uh, how yeah. old that one. Yeah. Okay, so I bought a uh, a game, uh, Team Fortress Two, for my nephew for his birthday, and uh, I talked to his parents and said, you know, you know, it's kind of like you know the game he plays now, which is like Clone Wars, or it's the Star Wars one where they shoot each other and stab yeah. each other and uh, without blood, apparently. And uh, you know, they said, yeah, that's cool, whatever, you know. So I get it, and I get it home, and my wife's looking at, it, and she's like, uh, you know, this says seventeen only, and and you're not really planning to give this to him, are you? And, and uh, you know, I was like, what are you talking about? It's you know, it's like a cartoon where they blow each other up. Jacob sits and watches me play all the time, and I probably shouldn't have mentioned that because <laughs> he's only seven. But uh, you know, he's always like, go burn that guy, daddy. <laughs> you know, burn. that's probably not a good thing, but. I don't. I don't think it's going to injure him for life or anything. Go burn that nice-looking man in the face. And so I guess I thought it would be a good discussion to talk about when is when is a kid old enough to play a game like Team Fortress Two. Hmm. I think seventeen is way too old, personally. Oh yeah, I think. You want my um, honest opinion. What? It, Before. 84? I think it depends 84. on the generation. I'm 84! You just need 84-year-olds to play so you can kill someone for once. <laughs> oh, like a pyro, baby. Like, I, I think it depends on the generation. Now, if we're talking about kids of the 50s, that's a whole different thing. If we're talking about kids of the 70s, we're talking about kids of the 2000s right now. When they're born into the, to the knowledge of the internet and, and getting any sort of knowledge and not being censored, I, I believe kids are more are watching more um, web type videos than they are censored old school TV shows, and I mean, so I would say probably, I don't know, eight nine years old, probably. I I I, I really learned a lot by watching girlfriend TF two videos. When when people would get hit by the rockets and they would explode, and she would go oh oh, and she would gasp. You know, as if something really foul had happened. You know, whereas uh -huh. when I see people explode and blood go all over the screen, I'm like, <laughs> and, and my son is too. <laughs> and I think um, I really think that's the key thing. If there, if, for instance, you know, I don't, you know, remember when Mortal Kombat came out and everyone was all up in arms, you know, about being able to rip people's spines out, you know, uh -huh. in the arcades. Oh, yeah. But realistically, I think most children know how to tell fake violence from real violence most okay yeah. especially when it's very cartoony 
Um, so I don't look at Mortal Kombat as being a bad thing. I, I, I think TF2's violence is all completely cartoony and fun. Uh, however, I don't necessarily think all kids are like me. And having that the girl in Girlfriend TF2 gasp like that reminds me of that. And so it, it depends on the kid. Um, I would want it to be someone who knows how to deal with cartoon violence. But other than that, I would think 10 at the earliest, even for a very well adjusted person and 12 for, you know, a reasonably well adjusted little kid that understands violence. The main issue is the background conversation is the voice is the voice stuff. Oh, like, yeah, people the, the talking adults stuff. cussing and, and making negative comments. That would be the main thing I would be worried about. Yeah, I guess that that would probably be the the main thing I'd worry about, too. And, you know, like when my son watches, I have headphones on, you know, what I mean, so yes, I, I don't subject him to that. And, and I probably don't even think about that as much because, you know, know. that kind of stuff doesn't. You know, he hears me cuss. <laughs> Not like um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go at this from a different direction here. Um, I'm gonna look at it. What is the youngest person that I could personally stand to play with? And that's a different question. <laughs> but it's it's more relevant for me. Um, I'm gonna say eighty five, <laughs> sixteen. <laughs> And I know we have some players that are younger than that, and and honestly, I think it's it's mainly a maturity issue. Um, there are fourteen-year-olds uh, that are more mature, um, but uh, yeah, we've all, everyone has played with some kid that uh, has just learned some some bad word and and thinks it's the coolest thing in the world and is going to spout it over and over and over and over and over and, and over get and banned over from again. the server yeah. and uh i can't handle that honestly you know what the the language issue most kids are fouler mouth than i am uh these days so i don't i don't really see that as being an issue they're going to get all of the foul mouth stuff that they want on the internet anyway so you know that, what i i just I, I don't think it I don't even really think it's relevant. I think once you're old enough to to be interested in playing TF2, then you're probably old enough to play it. Personally. So so I, I and I kind of agree with most of what y'all are saying, but what what do y'all think about them putting a mature rating on the game then? I mean, what's the point of that if, you know, it seems well, like it a lot of people Well, it is excessive blood. I mean, when you get blown up, you blow up into a big gout of bloody mess. But but then they put a positive spin on on all the violence like like you mentioned yeah they Kombat. point out your body hearts this is your head <laughs> yeah, this it, is your spleen and it's funny you know? I mean, it's like biology are, right there in the game they're learning it's, something it's colorful people are are they have funny dialogue it's it's very it's a positive spin and you mentioned Mortal Kombat that's not so much a positive spin on violence. Yeah, I think the problem with our youth today is they don't think about horrific violence positively enough. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, uh, what is that show? Uh, Happy Tree, Friends, whatever. Yes. It's, you know, it's, it's Wub, positive Wubby, Wubby, it's, Wubby. It's, it's using violence in a comedic way, right? It's, it's right. not like a serious dark shooter with dramatic overtones and stuff. I mean, I you mean know, yeah, we, we, we do. Let's uh, just to, to put things in perspective, I, I think that, uh, um, TF2 with its cartoony gore, and that's probably what got it the the, the M rating was the the gore, which is in, so you know f stylized and 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 goofy and cartoony that it's hard to take seriously. Mm -hmm. I would take that over a lot of T rated games that have no gore but have realistic depiction of people being shot any day. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I honestly I think the rating systems is screwed up. When I am a parent, I will not, never go by the ratings on video games because they're they're meaningless. In most instances, you can find something more objectionable and something rated lower every time. So, you know, well, yeah, that's and my opinion. I'm assuming GTA is probably rated M too, right? Oh, yeah. So yeah, you've got yeah. these two games that, to me, they're drastically different on each end of the spectrum 
of that mature rating, but they still have the same rating. And you might be like, well, I don't see that much wrong with Team Fortress 2, so I bet GTA is fine, too. Mm-hmm. You know, to someone who doesn't know. Right. You know, and right. that's what I right. find an issue with that. But And, and you're right. They, they actually list on the back. It's uh, They get the rating from blood and gore and intense violence. But also, it's kind of odd they list online interactions not rated by the ESRB. Ah, yep. so that doesn't take they, they have to do that with everything. So that means all the voice communication and, uh, you know, pedophilia that goes along <laughs> on the now, servers. Are these the same hey, people? Hey, come into uh, the ramp room, young boy. Are these the same people that are on the board of uh, MPA, the people rating our movies? Because no. that's an older generation no. run no. by the head of a Catholic it, church. No, ga- it, the, the, the MPAA and the ESRB are both peer rated. These are, these are rated by the people who are doing this stuff. Okay. So, um, um, well... That's what they say, but really the the ESRB is is it it is a um, its entire function is to to rate video games, and that's all those people do for the most part. So that whole peer rating thing, I think, is a little overblown. I, I again, I I don't think I would mind someone playing it as young as young as ten or twelve if they had an understanding of violence. Um, I I the 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 language and stuff. And by the way, if you're ever, I mean. I, w- I would be willing to put one of my children onto the control point servers. For the most part, everybody on our servers behaves. We usually have mods around. If there's any kind of a problem, those people get mute, muted, muted or booted. Mm-hmm. Um, I would be interested. I- I've never. Can you actually turn off all voice communication in the game? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, I mean, if I had a kid, I would probably turn off the voice communication. Yeah, you know, I'd I, let my kid play unless Clyde was on Clyde Frog. God, Man, that, that guy, guy is he's a, he's a bad influence. Oh, good lord! <laughs> I know. Man. Seriously, the, I, I'd probably let my son nonstop dick jokes from that guy. <laughs> Did you say dick jokes? <laughs> Can we say dick jokes on this podcast? Uh, I don't think so. I didn't okay, know what do you dick uh, jokes. just to move the conversation forward a little bit? What is the youngest age that you would allow your children to listen to our podcast? <laughs> <laughs> it depends. Would we be talking about dick jokes? <laughs> Apparently, you know, we are. Nixon jokes. Nixon. Rich, oh, Richard jokes. Oh, okay. that was terrible. Yeah. Uh, anyway, clever. we're done. We're done. So to close that out, I would probably let my son play at 12, but I'm not going to give someone else's kid at 12 that game if they have any kind of reservations. So what are you going to do with that copy of the game? I don't know. It's kind of silly to have a contest on a control point on a Team Fortress 2 podcast to give it away at Team Fortress 2. So I thought maybe we could use it, share it, yeah, and make a Winsor Coperton account and bump that dun, up to dun. Like no, I think that's a 400 point. hours a week. I think that's a See if we can get a uh, control point scream. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, then, besides that, I'm open to any suggestions. Okay, we can we can think of it. Maybe we can have like a. Do you have a 12 year old that wants to play Team Fortress 2? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I don't have a 12 year old that I know of. Let's go uh, drop it off at the uh, local uh, middle school. <laughs> Just out there in the. Uh, you want to drive around uh, yeah, the see, yeah. drive around the middle schools and offer the first hit for free? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> and have a sticker on their control point podcast. Yeah, leave us a uh, dig and we're going from back. zero to creepy <laughs> really quick here. Don't forget the stumble upon. <laughs> right. So, uh, who votes? We go on to listener contributions. Listener contributions. Listener contributions. Listener contributions. Listener contributions. Dun, dun. Wow, I'm so nice. sick of that song. The first thing we got here is a thread by Meatwad CP, the control point crossword puzzle. Haven't we talked about this before? No, that was the cryptic crossword. That's a different. That's and a different. This one is. Uh, this one's about the podcast. It has uh, mentions of uh, of jellyfish and things like that. So it's like very. Um, Did you just give away an answer? I think I probably might have. <laughs> God. Uh, spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! <laughs> They'll have to at least be able to count that many letters. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it has a lot of funny in, in jokes and just uh, classic um, CP type related things. Pretty neat. I haven't played it yet, but uh, I was at work when I saw it, and I probably shouldn't do that while I'm working. So, uh, <laughs> what else do we have here? Ooh man, we got a ton. No, this is, we've got. I've got to tell you, our our Google Doc is about five pages long, and we're only on page two. Mm. Well, what if we did just a listener contribution episode next episode, and all it was? We don't even do our weeks. Nothing. 
we open up and we go through emails and that would be a good like idea that. but it would pile up even more by the time yeah. we get to it and besides, but we would have an episode just for it and because and it. besides we need some content for this episode oh i thought we had already done an hour's worth or something like, i thought we were yeah. done with this thing <laughs> Um, I mean, we still got to do our closeout, which is another 50 minutes right there. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Let me know. start at Diggis. But there's some good questions here <laughs> from people. I'm actually looking forward to this. There's some good questions. Uh, we have a lot of MP3s being sent to us, too, and a lot of calls. <laughs> wow. All right. So we should probably get started. What do you think? Yeah. What's this first Are one? Are we going to have to start vetting these things and, like, you know, not playing all of it. I know we, we so far we've pretty much had a policy of if we get it, we we talk about it or we play it. Are we getting to the point where we're going to have to, you know, start screening our there, calls? There have been Never. plenty of things that I have not done on the air. Yeah, I have gotten asked plenty of questions that I have opted not to bring to the table. Yeah, but any, any audio, as long as it's listenable audio, for the most part, we'll throw at the end of the podcast, even if we don't play it during and talk about it. Yeah, right. and actually, I wanted to say something about that too. We have gotten so many calls in the last two weeks that um, I just cannot put on the air, uh, and it's 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 more like kind of because like of people, the quality. Well, no, I, well, okay. It, usually the quality is good. If if it's unaudible, of course I won't put it on. But in this case, we have a lot of people calling up and rambling on for five minutes. You know what I mean? Like kind of about nothing. <laughs> Like there's really nothing there. I'm like I'm listening and I'm like I appreciate the call, but there's not there's no meat there. There's no there's no I don't know. It's just like well, it's okay. We could be their TF two psychotherapy. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of feel like a psychologist there. So I don't know. Just like, slap that if, puppy at the end. Call it. Um, call it. We, we don't we don't want to say don't don't call us or anything. But um, but. Try to have something in mind when you call. <laughs> um, and, and I'm not talking to anyone who's already... If you've heard your call you know, on, on our show, I'm not talking to you. It's, so are you saying if you and, haven't and, heard your call on our show, he's talking to you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, Unless it was one of those calls we missed because Skype went down and, and yeah, killed. And, for the record, we ramble, but we have a plan. They're yeah, <laughs> at least it's, it's focused rambling. But like, and I'm totally not dissing what? anybody. You have I'm a just plan? saying. I'm just saying. Try to try to get 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 the point across real quick and in less than a minute at least. I mean, a minute's still kind of long, but you know. Anyway, a minute is a long time. How long you been talking about this? Uh, way too long. <laughs> Holy right. crap! Um, Let's do a couple of these at least. We got this. Uh, we got this email from Level. Let's see. Apparently, he's offering us a correction. I don't know if you got this correction yet, but I'm listening to your podcast about a week late, and you said in episode 44 that the pyro's taunt can only kill one person at a time. Once during a stalemate, I saw a pyro kill me and a medic at the same time with his taunt. Okay. Well, that's pretty impressive. He yeah. ended the email with, feel free to test it out, though, and try to prove me wrong. We, so if everybody out there could test it out and yeah, call in you. and leave a very good message on how it went. Yes. <laughs> uh, Five talk, minutes. For, talk for more than a minute. <laughs> Our chat room is saying that this is indeed true, so uh, let's uh, let's go with that. Yeah, we were wrong. <laughs> Dead wrong. So if you agree with that, call in <laughs> and leave a message for Eric. Okay. Um, you know what? If you disagree, I think you should call in and ramble on <laughs> for about five to ten minutes about, you know, whatever comes to mind. Just, you know, whatever. That's fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, Zach Vietel, he sent us an email, a rather long email, with lots and lots of questions. Um, maybe Lots and lots we, of uh, questions. Uh, lots and lots of... Oh, we can either do round robin, everybody answers one question, or we just pick out a few here, because there's a... Uh, we got lots and lots to pack in here. So how about the first one? We have, as a heavy, using the sandwich and the KGB, if you have some seconds of crit left from the KGB and switch from the sandwich and eat, does it heal more than it would without the crit? So we're talking about... I'm going with no. I, no. I vote no, too. No. Next. I vote no. I, I would vote no as well, yeah. So it's, so it's <laughs> four no's. It just doesn't sound You can't like... crit with a sandwich. <laughs> I, Just like you can't crit heal with the meta gun. It, yeah, exactly. It's a heal crit. They, they have never done that before in the game. It's a new mechanic, and I doubt. I really. That'd doubt. be really cool though if you could crit skig a medic and and have them overheal everybody in like half a second. <laughs> yeah, that would be a little group heal. Yeah, Uber. That sounds dirty. Are you talking about like a point blank AOE kind of thing? No, I'm just saying if you could crit heal, all you'd have to do is tag through, tab through all the people around you. See, right now <laughs> the medics are druids. They have heal over time. Ignore him. That's hot. Move on. Ignore you see what him. I did there? Move. 
<laughs> okay. With Natasha, do you feel that the slowing effect has personally helped you solo certain enemies? Are there any specific classes that were, are easier or harder to kill once slowed down for you? Spencer? You know, I just unlocked uh, Natasha last week. Um, I, I actually f- meant to mention that in my week and forgot. And I, I haven't really gotten a chance to, to use it enough to know uh, if I prefer it or not yet. You know, I meant to actually uh, mention that in my weekly too that I unlocked finally unlocked KGB. I did I didn't nice. farm any of it this time. Oh, good, okay. But I unlocked everything, and I try using that minigun, and I just can't. It's so, it's a completely different way to play the heavy for some reason, huh. and I don't like it. And I'm not going to ever use it again. I don't really. Know. What about you? Like I, the I really I, I've come to the point where I really like it in wide open spaces. If you're if you're talking about traditional heavy. Um, up close um, tunnels in, you know, uh, any any tunnels, uh, then I prefer Sasha. But if you're looking at a wide open space, like you see a lot of them in uh, whatever the new uh, payload map is, I, I can never remember what it's called. Hoodoo! <laughs> Badwater Basin. Badwater Basin. There's a, there's a lot of uh, open spaces there. Um, I, I like it a lot. Is this a Dixie Just Chick not, song? And you... What? Nothing. Go on. <laughs> what? I like it when I'm playing Spore. I like using Natasha in Spore because uh, you... <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Move on. Okay. I'm going to go back a second because there's one here that, that I need to comment on. Uh, he put one. He said, as a spy, is it possible to have the unlockables shown on the disguise to an enemy? In other words, if you're, if you're a spy disguising as a heavy, the answer is no. Um Whenever you disguise a spy, they're always with the standard weapon, and you're not primary able, standard weapon. Yeah, and it's it's part of the whole way of telling who's spies and who's not, and that will most assuredly never change. And, and except for with the spy unlocks, because you know they sent us in the new spy unlocks. When yeah, that's uh, true. So. Have you had a chance to look at those yet, Wes? I did, but I um <laughs> I uh, wasn't going to tell people. Uh. <laughs> well, they moving say- on. Well, they said, oh, wait, now they're not going to put the link on the side. That's right. Know. Oh, crap. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, here was, a, here was one. It says, do you enjoy arena maps more than deathmatch maps? Yes. 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 Move on. Universal. Okay. <laughs> Moving Universal. On. Would, you, would you rather use Natasha and shotgun for slowing down your shotgun targets or use Sasha and sandwich for killing fast and taking time to heal? Um, for me, it would be Natasha and the shotgun because I do not, I, I, I can't play without my shotgun. I love it. I can't answer that question because I haven't it. unlocked anything. So I'm I would a, go with the new stuff just to play with it. Nope. I'm Sasha and Sandwich, baby. <laughs> All the way. Yeah. Om nom 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 nom. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably Sasha and Sandwich too just because, no, 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 I changed that. I'm going back to shotgun. I had to unlock the hundred sandwiches, but now that that's done. Going back to yeah. shotgun. Okay, this next is a large. Uh, oh wait, we've got an MP3 for this. Hold ah. on. This is an MP3 from Mechtroid. Hey, this is Mechtroid here. I've got a lot of questions, so I'll get straight to the point. I've got three batches, and it's a fair amount, so you might want to have one or two people take each question, not all three or four. Starting with batch one. What is the best kill you have ever gotten? For me, it's backstabbing a cloaked spy. I'm sure you have some good ones. What is the best killing spree you've ever had? And this may be a bit early, but in Arena, what's the best comeback you've ever seen? Okay, that's batch one. All gameplay-related stuff. Now on to the more historic things. Batch two. If you could write the script to the TF2 movie, what would it be? What would happen? Which actors would you choose to play the classes? And on that topic, what do you think the announcer looks like? And finally, the miscellaneous grab bag. Which famous person would you like to play TF2 with the most? And which team TF2 class which team of TF2 classes would you need to take out Gordon Freeman, Alex and Dog working together? And that's all my questions. I hope they provide you provide some interesting answers. This is Mechtroid signing out. Okay, that was a lot of questions. Yes. Um, best kill I've ever gotten? I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, I'm going to use the one that's fresh on my mind. Last night we were playing uh, Fastlane, and uh, I jumped around the corner on that t- 
top level above the final cap point and there were three people sitting standing there and I was a demo man and I launched a grenade just out of fear and then backed up and it was a crit grenade and it killed all three of them. Nice one. One crit grenade. I'm going to go with uh, my best kill was that time I killed Wes. Which oh, time? Yeah. I'll there were lots of them. Just that that, that one time. You remember that time? Oh, that time. Yeah. Seriously, oh. it was awesome. Old times. Okay, uh, let's just go through these quick. What's the next best killing spree you did, you did the kill? Man, I have, I don't have an answer for that. I, I, they're, they're all awesome. Well, when you're when you're Kritzkrieged as a heavy, and you can, and there's a bunch of people in front of you, and you just mow them all down. That is pure unmitigated joy. I think when I was doing the medic unlocks and I was playing the heavy and I was just mowing people down while people were healing me and I got like 384 kills, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, the, I'd say the... pyro with back burner on payload maps. Okay. There's usually a really few couple times you come in and get everybody that's on the cart with the back burner. Gotcha. Hmm. Best comeback you've ever seen? Um, that might be. I don't what, have an answer for that. What was that? What was that map? Was it Lazy Town? Remember the one I talked about on the one episode where we where we totally. Well, this is came in back? arena though. Oh, in arena. Yeah, uh, that kind of limits it keep, a little bit. How do you keep track of that? So, I, there I was this one time in Lumberjack when uh, we were almost <laughs> all dead, and then uh, and we, you were playing we a mighty Lumberjack. <laughs> There's no such thing as a lumberjack class. I'm a lumberjack and that's okay. <laughs> anyway, um, I did see a spy one time. It was four regular players versus one spy, and he took out three of them. I don't remember who the spy was, um, but I thought that was pretty impressive. It's he like a Mission dying. Impossible episode. Uh, dun, 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 dun. There's this one time Doodaloo. at spawn camp. <laughs> all right uh let's go down here to another question um how about the movie one that's cool if you could write the script to a tf2 movie what would it be and what would it be about or what would happen uh how about a mastermind kingpin kind of guy this criminal underworld guy hires um, a bunch of uh people from all over the world to uh, uh to perform this uh diamond heist so they all get together, all different classes, and, and uh, they go and they work together, and then they find out that it's not a diamond heist. It's actually they're stealing an in, uh, a briefcase full of intel. They break it open. They find oh, out Oh, you're that talking like a, a double reverse reveal at the end there? Nice. Yeah. They find out that it's like uh, plans to uh, – um, uh, to, uh, or, oh, the location of an underground secret nuclear Control silo, oh, okay. uh, which is going to be used by the uh, kingpin to blow up the moon – Oh. And if you want to know why, if you're wondering why they have to blow up the moon, just watch the movie. <laughs> I think I would go with a coming of age romantic comedy explosion drama. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> I think uh, my idea is you've got this extra dimensional entity, and he has this 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 battle arena every year and he gets the Boring. finest finest fighters from all dimensions and he brings them to his dimension and fights them one on one and they have to kill each That's other That's Mortal Kombat to... Okay. <laughs> I, I, I would just uh, get a gun, put it to you bowls head, shoot, and then get someone else to do anything. <laughs> nice. And then, and then, like, make a movie of his brain spatter on the wall. Yeah, I mean, it's by, Sniper can do it. Uh, I, I just have to say, um, uh, I think uh, Nazook, or, or I, I don't know how to say it in, in the chat room right now, said uh, he would just have someone, uh, one of the classes, looking at the audience, doing nothing but saying, Need a dispenser here for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. Um, as far as actors, I, I think that's a that's a question for another time. Yeah. Uh, I haven't had really time to think about it. Um, I, I would I would put Bruce Campbell in there somewhere, but yeah, we'll, we'll have to talk about that. Somewhere. Wesley Snipes. I think Nev Campbell. The, uh, Nev Campbell would play them all. Demo man. Nev Campbell is as the scout. That's Nev Campbell is the demo man. Nev Campbell is the heavy. What? You know what? I'm liking where Patrick, this is going. Nev Patrick Campbell. War, Patrick Warburton's the soldier, though. No, I think Nev Campbell is everyone. Snipes has already awesome. played a demo man in a movie called Demolition Man. <laughs> I think he would be a shoe in, mm. but that's just no, me. Martin Lawrence, come on! <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Look at the crotch. Nev Campbell, totally Nev Campbell. Uh, Kevin Spacey is the scout. 
<laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, all right. With the with the limp from Kaiser Sose? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen some good stuff there, though. Yeah, you like it? Okay, uh, let's move on. Tony Soprano as the what's his real you know name? What? You know what? I'm going to stop us here. Okay. Metroid, we appreciate the uh, the the questions, but uh, holy crap, could you break them up for us just a little bit? Just too many in one thing. Yeah, that is a lot of questions. <laughs> okay, moving on. We've got an email from Abrupt Demise. If the TF2 classes were converted into WoW classes, which TF2 classes would be converted and into which WoW classes? You know what? None of them would be converted at all because WoW sucks. <laughs> <laughs> we all like WoW, except Spencer. Yeah. <coughs> Spencer, I think the uh, soldier would be the warrior. Spencer, what, what level have you gotten to in WoW? 26? Um, 34. 34. Good job. The uh, engineer would be the hunter. Engineer would be the hunter. He's got a pet. Okay. A little turret. Got okay. It. The the healer, I okay. mean the holy priest obviously is a medic and yeah. The the heavy would be like a warrior. Scout's got to be a shaman with ghost with the ghost wolf form. The what? The little ghost. Oh, the scout? Yeah. Yeah, that or uh, maybe a druid. druid. Oh wait, yeah, the medic's actually a druid. It's got the heal over time spells. Well, so does the priest. But not like a druid. What are you talking about? Druids all heal over time. Renew you know, is This fantastic. is the stupidest question I've ever but heard But a druid's of. got Let's three on. different ones. <laughs> so? Priests yeah, but they only can need one. Animals. Y'all are wrong. And they morph okay. into animals. Move on. And because, <laughs> you know... You're wrong! They would all be druids, just <laughs> different forms, because druids rule and the rest of the classes suck. Get over it. Let's move on. <laughs> He then asks uh, as about WoW classes being converted into TF2 classes. That will end just as badly. So let's move on to the next question. <laughs> I've noticed the lack of a you're welcome voice command with a thank you voice command. Do you think there should also be a you're welcome voice command? No. I no. can just imagine <laughs> the TF2 game turning into a bout of politeness. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I would pardon like me, I would sir. like a Can button I go through this door yes. first. First we have I, your Yeah, weapon. I would like a button that says, "Pardon me, but would you mind it if I shot you in the face with my shotgun?" <laughs> and then someone else with a voice command that he could say either, "Oh, oh no, good show, chap, good show." Or he could say, "I'm sorry, sir, but at re this moment I would not like to be shot in the face with a shotgun. <laughs> would you mind if I blew you up instead?" <laughs> and you know, it just goes on from there. I think TF politeness would be an awesome game. But 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 I do think it would be awesome if they put in some responses to other things like, "Do I need a dispenser here?" The engineer has, "Yes, I'm going to get a fucking dispenser there." <laughs> oh, yikes! I like a uh, go uh, good soldier in the um, in the chat room says. How about a response of no, thank you? Could you see it going back and forth <laughs> yes. there for a while? Yes, yes. That's what nice. I was going to say. There needs to be an after you and then no after you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and then it's you're both responding because you just got shot by the other team. <laughs> and then awesome. there needs to be a pardon me and <laughs> oh dear, it seems I have been shot in the head. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's okay. see. I don't want to talk about this next one, so let's go on to... Oh, come uh, on. No, this is, this is important. Uh, no, it's not important at all. Okay, you're right. It is not important. It is the opposite of important. It is unimportant. Okay. You're, you're, you're correct. I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> so Pierre Kahn uh, sent well, an what email. What about the one from Hex? No, that's yeah. the one he wants Pierre to Kahn sent in an email that said, I predict that a future scout achievement will be to kill 10 heavies and eat their sandwiches. It will be called BLT to go. Uh, that's pretty good. What future <laughs> achievement do you predict and what will it be called? Oh, man. Uh, have future? you thought about this, Wes? What's your future achievement? I don't know. I, I think the snipers are going to have a, a kill 50 uh, scouts and it's going to be shrimp on the barbie. Yeah. Something like that. Oh, that's um, that's probably true. Yeah, there might be one for uh, demos called scrambled eggs, where you got to blow like four people up at once. I think there's going to be a soldier I, one called uh, 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 chaos, and it's going to be about killing a bunch of people or something. You I just you just keep the, uh, talking, and I don't. Pyro I don't really know the pyro why. will have an achievement called making bacon. I predict that. <laughs> 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 what about the uh, big big black dildo? We're, we're not talking about no, that. No, we're not going to talk about it. It was a question sent in. I think it's fair game. No, this is not a question. This is a correction, and it's not that important. 
Okay. Well, I haven't read the full thing yet. Well, maybe you should before you start talking about Big say, Black I Dildos. I believe it was Spencer who mentioned the Big la, Black la, la, Dildos. La, la, la. Anyway, we've got one from <laughs> Jolly Eskimo That's not that says, correct. just a couple a of question. questions on spy really tips really in the previous really episode. Um, number right. one, enemy horse teams horse cannot horse see horse sappers horse that haven't been placed. So in other words, if horse you are a spy and you're attempting to put a sapper onto some enemy equipment, no matter what people say, there is no way that anyone can detect that you have your sapper out. Yeah, I don't think we should read that question on the air. <laughs> <laughs> Another one is Kritz Krieg Spies. And these are from Jolly, and we actually take him seriously. Um, <laughs> Kritz Krieg Spies cannot instant kill face stab, but will show the backstab icon if enough damage is dealt to kill the enemy through normal uh, through regular slashes while crits creed. See, I thought that a that a um, a melee crit was almost always a kill. So that that's why I had assumed no. that. No, I mean it. It is a lot. It is a lot. Uh, no, it's a lot, but it's not almost always a kill. Well, and since the dagger does, uh, I'm sorry, the 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 knife or whatever you call it does half damage. Um, Compared to other melee weapons, I guess that that's more more often the case. So, um, next he says also in response to an easier way to switch between unlocks. Here's a popular set of binds that people have been using to toggle between their weapons. Um, so there we nice. we're going to link to some uh, binds so that people can change their weapons quickly. So and, and that's without having to go back to respawn or anything, and you can just change it. No, you still have to respawn as normal, but right. Oh. Uh, it's okay. like when you're dead, you hit this button, and when you spawn, you'll you'll come with the new loadout. Oh, that's still very handy. Very nice. Okay, so we've got our repeat um, here on our Google Doc. Um, we get those. So, uh, so we're going to play this again? Question from... Uh... No. So instead, <laughs> I'm going to play the other one. This is from Johnny Napalm. Hey, Control Point. It's Johnny Napalm here. And I'm writing the episode guide for episode 26, and I was wondering about the singing of the final countdown and what prompted that. So if you guys have a great story about that, I think we'd all love to hear it. Anyway, love the podcast, and uh, keep up the good work. We're going <laughs> to Venus! <laughs> um, how did it start? I don't know. I know exactly how it started. Oh, good. Okay, tell us. Um, <laughs> because that was a point in time when I was working on a side sketch... That involved a song that was a rewrite of the final countdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were talking about good words for it. And we were going, it's the final cap point. Yeah, that's right. And uh, and it sort of stuck <laughs> in our heads. And uh, it is a bit I'm still going to do. I have the script in my bag. It's just a matter of me and Eric finding the time to actually do it. Yeah. So anyway, that's where it comes from. That's and... <laughs> I've always is. been, you know, because I wasn't there for the whole song thing. I just got online and you guys were singing that damn song. Thanks we, a lot. Yeah, it's our fault. Oh, that's right. Didn't we surprise Spencer with that? Yes, we oh, did. That was fun. Yeah, that was. Well, you remember that time? Uh, uh, humorous things. I've been hearing the final countdown mentioned in a lot of arenas lately. It got mentioned on uh, GWJ. Um, and I, so, they were playing it during their break, yep, weren't they? Yep, yeah. they played it during their break. And I like to think that we're partially responsible for a resurgence of the final countdown. Yeah, excellent. Well, so do you think also, Europe's going to be sending us some uh, money? So, it wasn't Europe. Yeah, it was Europe. Yeah, it was? It was? Europe. Uh -huh. I it was <laughs> Bird! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I know my 80s hair bands. So we have uh, some skins from uh, Grains the Vegan Zombie. Uh, <laughs> that just sounded odd. Yeah, <laughs> we have skins from because he's a zombie. He has oh, yeah. skin, but he's great. Oh. But maybe it's because he's a vegan zombie. Maybe grains. That's grains. that's awesome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> less good. cough syrup for Brent. Yeah, and, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Um, what skins do we have here? Uh, oh, pizza. He's, yeah, he's reskinned the sandwich. Um, and, uh... No, no, it wasn't him. He just is pointing these out. Oh, oh, right. Okay, his topic is ham and cheese on Spy, and he points us to the pizza skin, the cheeseburger, 
the donut, and the toasted sandwich. Now, someone has got to make a Homer skin for the heavy and then add in the donut skin with it and change the yum 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 to like the Homer's. I, that would work. Thing. To his nom nom nom? Yeah. yeah that would totally work. <laughs> I like, that. I, I like the toasted sandwich. It looks tasty. Mm-hmm. I, I think I'm the hungry. pizza is very, the pepperoni is very shiny in the oil. <laughs> You're welcome. Wow, this is the best <laughs> podcast ever. Um, They're always oh, the best for you. We have inside uh, deep where the heart thread. is. Thread of the week, posted by Zach Vietel. It is uh, make an achievement generator. It points to a, uh, a, a an achievement generator. It's basically uh, creates the little graphic where you can put the uh, little icon in there and the title and and what type of achievement it is. If it's a, a collector type one or if it's just a do this or do that. And wow, there's a lot of really funny ones in there. It's I don't know how many pages long it is right now, but it's pretty entertaining. Uh, so anyway, we'll point to that in the show notes. Oh, and we have a. A Fritz question of the week. Hey there, Control Point. A Fritz here. Okay, here's the situation. You're the head of security. You need to transport some sensitive documents from one point to another, and the transport vehicle is a big van thing, obviously. Which three classes would you use to help protect the documents? Of course, the documents are not allowed to get destroyed or stolen from the bad guys or something. Uh, so, yeah, see you. S'il vous plaît. Um, okay, so what would who would we use to transport stuff? Um, I, I think some the of the question? choices. Uh, I was so making a. Uh, we're we're, a we're supposed to transport some documents, and uh, we don't want them ta- uh, captured, and uh, we need three classes. So I'm going to choose a heavy and a medic, and a pyro with the regular gun with the air blast. That's what I'm choosing. They have to be different classes? I'm going to say yes. Because I wanted to say three NGs. <laughs> three NGs? Uh-huh. To transport documents? Uh-huh. Yeah, because NGs are I could so totally good see on that. the move. <laughs> they would totally build like this elaborate um, pneumatic transportation system. That would be awesome. I'm going with be. Eric's answer. The engineer are, unlocks aren't out yet, so no. They only know how to build four things. Oh, yeah. Um, well, I mean, within the confines of the game, you have no idea what kind of crazy crap they'd build in the real world. Mm-hmm. That's true. But we don't get real people. We get TF2 classes. We get real TF2 <laughs> classes, people, <laughs> with Best a side order ever. of heavy bacon. <laughs> mm. uh, do you have any opinion, Brent? I, I'm still trying to make a... Uh I generate my own little thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, nice. yeah, and it's hey, not working right now. We'll, we'll so. let you know when we're done with the podcast. Okay, so you okay. can quit. Well, does uh, anybody anybody know why it doesn't work? Uh, is it is it, mm-hmm. Does it have to do with you being at the keyboard? I don't know. It may. It just says if you can read this, an error has occurred. Ooh. Which is an awesome error message. Isn't that usually what happens <laughs> on your computer? No, no, no. This is in the web page. Uh-huh. It's been. But this uh, is an awesome one. I mean, I just made an, the best achievement ever. Really? Yeah. There's an error. It's the fire. No, no, no. Is that your is that your achievement? If you if you get this achievement, you're in error. No, no, no. It, it's 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 a spy <laughs> it's one. I made it for spy because it's coming out. It's you know f yourself. Bump into an enemy fifty times while disguised. <laughs> f yourself. Yeah. We got the uh, surveillance. We got TF2 cosplay meetup at Dragon Con. Uh, er- Eric, why don't you tell us about that? Oh, actually, I guess I already kind of did in the Cheater? earlier. Um, yeah, I totally cheated. Uh, but um, if you just go ahead and rewind back uh, about 45 <laughs> minutes and listen to it and then come back here, we'll all be good. Yep. And we'll post a, a link to that as well. And uh, let's see. Uh, wait, did, were there, did you ha- do you have those photos online? Oh, the spy masks. Didn't we talk about that last week? I, mean, I was not during, here last week and did not listen to the podcast. Ish. So, mm. um, Spy masks, they're cool. They're cutouts. You can print them out and put them on your face. We, we need them up here. I don't know why we haven't printed them out and put them all over this room yet. I know. They're pretty excellent. Get yourself a suit, put a little cigarette in your mouth, and put one of these faces on and go walking down the street and go grocery shopping, whatever. Yep. Or make a spy costume. Or just walk into a bank and see what happens. Yes. Okay. 
Um, <clears throat> next we have... Uh, okay, now i, I got to explain this. This is yours. This was linked on the um, Steam user forums under the VAC um, section. And uh, this guy left a message on the Steam forum says, Hey guys, I downloaded a private hack from... And it's blocked out. Something.com. It said it was undetected. So I downloaded the game and I hacked into secure servers. Some people banned me from the servers. No idea why. But then later today I logged in and it said I was banned from VAC. WTF. Why am I banned? Steam can't ban me if I was using an undetected hack. Please unban me because it's illegal to ban me from Steam when I was using an undetected hack. Thank you for reading this. Wow. Nice. And then uh, then two posts down, you have an official response from Valve, from uh, Mike Blass from Valve. And it says, no need to contact Valve. You should contact blank.com and ask for your money back because their undetectable cheat is actually detectable. Tell them we said LOL, too. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me a lot of the uh, of the um, Wambulance posts that Bungie puts up of people asking to be unbanned from Halo. It's just some classic, classic stuff. I didn't know that the that my console was modded, and even if I did, I only used it when. <laughs> wow! <laughs> and uh, um, yeah, it's great. That's amazing. So I thought that was fabulous. So anyway. have we managed to struggle yeah. our way? And through this morass of crap to the end of another episode? <laughs> um, actually, no. We have one more thing to do. Is this the outro? Holy crap! I'm completely wrong. I want to hear yes. this new outro. Um, no, no, no. We are. Uh, we're. We've got Mentok coming on the line. Oh yeah! yeah, yeah. So we oh, need to take. Why don't we have this in the dock? Jeez. This is good. Uh, <laughs> Mentok went to PAX. <coughs> yep. Over the weekend and got to meet some Valveridians. And, and hobnob with all kinds of developers and stuff. So, what's going on? Hey guys, how's it going? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I did go to PAX. Uh, I was hoping to do an interview with some uh, people at Valve, uh, ask them some questions that I thought up, and I asked you guys for some questions as well. And the whole thing for me personally didn't go so great. Um, <laughs> I had my I had my minion Bad Easy holding uh, my laptop for me. She's in the UStream chat right now. Um, I uh, found I got uh, together with Charles Brown from Valve. I was going to ask him some questions uh, why he was busy watching people playing Left 4 Dead. Unfortunately, I couldn't get him to like come with me anywhere. So we were on the show floor while he was observing his uh, his booth there. Um, so I started asking him some questions. I asked him all the serious questions. Got that taken care of, and he had to he had to pause the recording so that he could you know uh, set up some people that were coming to play the game. So I paused it. And after he got back to me, I uh, resumed recording. And uh, unfortunately, when I uh, started recording again, I saved over the project that I'd saved before. So I lost my, oh. my first half of recording completely. Mm, man. Did you feel like you'd been kicked in the nuts? <laughs> I did. It was terrible. And so after I finished my second half, I realized what had happened. And I, I apologized to him and asked him if we could record the first half again. And uh, he told me the, to come back later, and I did come back later, but when I returned, he told me that apparently he had talk, talked to Doug Lombardi while I was gone for like an hour. I, was only, I came back an hour, 15 minutes later, and apparently he talked to Doug, and he's like, well, what you should do is you should call us here at Valve and ask all your questions and get your interview that way. So I went ahead and gave the number to the CP host, and hopefully you guys will be able to call them up and ask all the questions yourselves instead of just someone like me who's not important at all. You're important? <laughs> and surprise, that, that doorbell you just heard, that's uh, Doug at your front door. Yes. Yeah. And do you know, <laughs> you've gotten more response from Valve than we have. Yeah. So now, you're obviously more important than we are. Now, we did do an interview with Doug Lombardi on our uh, Uber Control podcast <laughs> episode, but we would love to get him again on the show. Yeah, clearly that one did not go as well as we thought it would. Um, <laughs> So yeah. what kind of juicy stuff did you get? What kind of new stuff did I get? Um, I got a T-shirt uh, for free. I actually got it outside the expo hall. They were handing them out from, what was that? That easy. Type in the chat. What was the name of that game that with that slap wrist brace? Is that Ion? I -A -I -O -N? Oh, yeah, the, the flying wings MMO. 
Ion, A A I O N, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Ion. Ion. So I got a free T-shirt from them. Nice. And I got hey, one did of you the know, Fallout you puppets. Hey, there, did you know you can climb in that game? You can climb up walls. <laughs> did and you? Stuff. Did you? Are there wings on the tip back of the T-shirt? It doesn't matter. You can climb. Who needs wings when you can climb? <laughs> did you? Uh, uh, so you got to talk to Charles Brown, right? Charlie yeah, that's Brown. Right. Did uh, so. What what kind of things did you ask him? What what did uh, what, 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 give me the gossip? Well, I have the questions right here. Would you thing. like me to go through some of these questions? Ooh, that'd be awesome. Um, my first question was, how often do you play uh, play, t- play TF2? And uh, he actually says he doesn't play it very often. I mean, he just worked on the game. Uh, I don't think I don't think he plays the game that often. Well, and that's logical. We're, we're TF2 <laughs> podcasters, and we don't play very often. <laughs> A sixty-six hours. <laughs> um, I asked him about uh, Valve's attitude toward the grinding of achievements when they have new achievements come out, and they like prefer nice. that people don't grind them. But you know, I think they I think they prefer people if they're gonna grind them to do them on servers that you know have sanctioned like a grinding session or something like that instead of people just going to you know random servers and trying to get their achievements while everyone else is playing. Wait, yeah. but but isn't that how you're supposed to get them? Going to other servers and getting them while everybody is playing. I mean, that's not grinding. <laughs> that's no, that's yeah. not gr- that's not grinding. But when you're trying to grind on a server with people that are not into the whole grinding thing, yeah, that's not so great. That's funny. That's that's actually kind of humorous for me. <laughs> I'm glad he answered it like that, though, instead of like, uh, you know, well, I don't really play the game, so I don't care. Grind all you want. <laughs> yeah. I asked him about uh, the Machinima, and he said that he saw that uh, artful pyro one that they did a long time ago. Uh, so what was the name of Vicky? it? It was something in French or something? So was in... The Burning uh, Soul? Solis and... Ignis, Ignis Solis. Solis. Ignis yeah, Solis. Ignis Solis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With the with the light up uh, cow flash lens, and he that said he awesome thought that one was. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Oh, he mentioned um, the light I up. Also... He mentioned the light up cow flash lens. <laughs> no, but uh, that's just how I remember it. <laughs> 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 um, I asked him the blue or red question. Like Brent sent me a question that was simply blue or red question mark, and nice. he had no idea what I was talking about. Loser. <laughs> 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 Man. Hey, they can't wow. all be winners, okay? Everybody it's knows something. it's blue. Red. Blue. Um, and then I also asked him a question about nipples, and he, you know, he <laughs> said that he had no comment. He had no comment about nipples that he wanted to share with the world. I love you, Mintok. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm rubbing my nipples now. Well, just awesome. This, uh, uh, actually, we did get the, the number, and uh, I, I actually called and left a message on... Uh, on Doug Lombardi's voicemail, and I'm going to try and call him again next week. So hopefully we'll be able to get him on the air. So and, and that once, should be pretty cool. And once the uh, restraining order against uh, us expires for the way that that call went through, uh, we might actually get an interview. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Um, it's amazing how fast you can get an across state, actually across the entire country, um, a restraining order. And I mean, literally, I called, and, and the next thing you know, there's a... Uh, a sheriff's deputy on my front yard. Uh, you know, it was pretty, it was pretty sad. <laughs> Man, we can kill a fast podcast faster than anybody. Uh huh. All right. So any more juicy uh, questions? Mintock? Um, let's see. Uh, I did ask him if he's ever heard of or used the term smexy before. <laughs> nice. What, what that went in the nipples category, didn't it? Yeah, he'd never heard of the Smexy. Oh. And, and he actually said, call back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Nice. <sighs> and, okay, anything else? Oh, uh, let's see. Well, that's most of the silly questions I actually had the balls to ask him in person. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't, ask the, I didn't ask him the question about Nivik. Brent wanted me ask, to ask him if he had any restraining orders filed against Nivik, but I knew he didn't know <laughs> What? You might be surprised. Uh, I'd be very surprised. What about uh, the podcast? Oh, had he heard of the podcast? No, he hadn't heard of the podcast. So basically, my set, of, my set of questions um, about that was, you know, kind of went out the door since he hadn't heard of you. I was going to ask him about the link on the side of their blog that you guys have been asking about, but he hasn't heard. 
<laughs> if you didn't know podcast, that's probably going to be a no. He's awesome. he's really not really big on the web development department, so he probably doesn't know that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah. that's 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 a good as an excuse people. as any. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, thanks a lot, we're like, talk. We really, uh, we really do appreciate it, and it, and um, I, I really envy you for having gone to PAX. I, I really want to go very badly. I'm, and fortunately, uh, you know, they did release that there's going to be a uh, East Coast PAX in in 2010. So I'm looking forward to that. They actually announced where it's going to be as well. It's going to be in Boston, and they have posted the building that it's going to be in, but I can't remember off the top of my head. But that information is out there. Awesome! I hadn't heard that. I'll have to check that out. We have we have yeah, so you know trip from Atlanta to Boston shouldn't be too far. That's exciting. I want to go really bad. Me too. Have we have we become the Howard Stern of the video gaming world? Did you end the, end the interview with Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Baba Booey? <laughs> I don't think we're anywhere near as popular as Howard Stern. So. Gosh. And and he, he doesn't have a link on the side of uh, Val's. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe Doug has heard of us, so we'll we'll uh, we'll ask him. We'll find out. We'll have to invite some attractive ladies to come into the studio with you guys. This is true. <laughs> that sounds great. All pyros. <laughs> so tell me about this bad easy. Anyway, um... oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to add anything else, Men Talk? Um. Oh, groovy. I was supposed to say groovy. Groovy, groovy. baby. Nice. <laughs> is, that, is that like a Jim the Worm groovy? Or is that a Bruce Campbell? I was just on the server the other day, and someone wanted me to say groovy when I was on the air. So groovy. <laughs> nice. cool. Okay, fabulous. You'll be heard by hundreds of people on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. Thanks. Joey, so edit out your voice and put in the robot voice. Yes. In place, but <laughs> groovy. 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 <laughs> And people will confuse it with gravy, of course, and that'll be a whole disaster at that point. But that's yes. <laughs> neither here nor there. Well, thanks a lot, uh, Mentuck. We really do appreciate it. And uh, let us know next time you get an awesome interview with Valve, okay? All right, I will do. All right, thanks, All right man. later, man. Groovy. Bye. And uh, I think on that note, it's about time for uh, the rest of us to uh, us. sign off here as well, isn't it? I, I think it is. I think I think we're very close right. to that part. Yeah, I think we've made up for our last week being absent with this nice big yeah. long episode. Um, <laughs> our uh, our outro is a pretty much your standard outro as we do every week. Uh, this time we've we were uh, sent a new outro by the link is strong. He sends us a uh, a remake of he kind of uh, he took an old outro where Spencer gave the outro and kind of did put a little special sauce on it and uh so yeah. we'll, uh, sauce a, a different spin should i say uh, and then uh, anyway so um that Spencer. will take us out of the episode and stick around after the uh well at the end warp we'll have, is coming we will have a song uh by uh, captain spaulding the maker of the song i'm your medic has brought us a new tune called i'm your sandwich Nice. And so you will you will hear that. And uh, so anyway, that takes care of episode 34. Yeah, update our Control Point Wiki page at uh, tftwiki.net. You can big FDI double G at uh, our website or on the big website. You can join our MySpace group. HPTPP HBP My MySpace group, Control Point at MySpace. You can give us iTunes reviews because those are awesome. You can give us thumbs up on Stumble Upon. You can join our Steam community. You can join the Control Point forums. You can listen to 52s and berries at controlpoint.mixpage.com. You can join Festo and throw one out again. Or you can listen to our Twitters. Now head double turn up chaos and discord CP and Wes Wilson. Or you can call us at 256 513 4772 and leave a message. You can also listen to the other podcasts on the Good Workers Party Network, such as Killer Trash Talk, Random Chatter, Tech Chatter, Lost Chatter, Movie Chatter, All the Chatter in the World, Zero Show, World of Wild, Cyber Mall, and whatever else. You are now at the end of another episode of Control Point. Victory. Every one of you deserves a medal. A podcast brought to you by the Dead Workers Party. See the show notes and leave comments for this episode at controlpoint.deadworkers.com or leave us a voicemail at area code 256-513-4772. Al virus in! And now it's time for the Team Fortress 2 edition of Unnecessary Censorship. Next time you'll bloody ask before you f*** on my b- I'm gonna f*** you like a rented mule, boy. Who sent all these babies to f***? Promise not to f*** on my suit and I'll f*** 
you quickly. Hey, a lot of good that did ya? You better hold on to your mate. Come over here. I promise I will you. I am going to enjoy each and every one of you sorry sack of scum. Who touch my Yeah, it's a freaking magnet. I your toys as well. Start boy. The healing leaves little time for the thing. I'm gonna stick me in your ass and hang on till you're dead. I am going to claw my way down your ass and out your very soul. Oh, the corpse of water buffalo tougher than you. <laughs> Look at your little baby. I'm pooping over here. Who's with me? Oh, I'm gonna you so hard you'll have a twitch. That ends Unnecessary Censorship, Team Fortress 2 Edition. Goodbye. You got on my suit. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Sandwich, sandwich, me and my sandwich. <laughs> I'm your sandwich, saving heavy slides if they take too much damage. Scout eating me, but I'm gonna make him fat. Would you like some french fries with that? Shove me in your face, we're talking cramage. I'm your sandwich, but you can call me ham and cheese. The only way you'll eat me is if you're going heavy. You're like, come on, sandwich, just a bite, please. I'm stomping over here, I'm down on my knees. Pump a nickel rye, any bread you please. Toasted dry with a mustard squeeze. Roll on the Swiss, I'm filled with cheese. You wish you had another. The one just like me, I'm your savage! Nom, 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 nom. Ah, so feeling! I am full of sandwich, and I am coming for you! I'm your sandwich, maybe you think I'm not much of an advantage. Fat call me bastard, chewing mouth open. What will the dudes about smoking? Forums filling up with rantage. Stop crying about me when I give you help. For saving the chainsaw for somebody else. At least I'm delicious. Everyone's got wishes, even a sandwich like myself. If you lick my lid, here is what you'll see. I'll get a little mayonnaise, spread lettuce, tomato pile. How with me, kid? Man, don't forget the cheese with an olive and a toothpick for your teeth. I'm your sandwich. Don't run. What was that sandwich? Kill them all? Good idea. I'm your sandwich. Soviet built. You could call me a manwich. People's party, party people's bread. Comrades, I prefer it on Team Red. Capitalist pigs should be banished. I'm your sandwich. You think that I am useless? Yeah, I heard you said it. You miss your puny shotgun, man. Don't you get it? Someone's getting really sick of healing your ass. It's called a medic. So you've lost a lot of blood, then eat me, bitch. Shovel me down like you was digging a ditch. Ham and cheese, Reuben, submarine too. Any way you slice it, I'm good for you, and I'm the sandwich. Uh, that was delicious. Hey, Wes. Yeah. It must have been love, <laughs> but, but it's, it's over now. Woo! <laughs> mm. Thank God it's over now. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, do you have the dock up? I have the dock up. Control Point, episode 46, recorded on September 7th. It's the Soul Train! Don't ever do that again. <laughs> <laughs> you have been warned. <laughs> oh, <damn it. laughs>